again to the Berians TV YouTube channel. Uh, this is the series where we are looking at um, the deception of Christians and uh, we are on episode 4 or part 4 of our discussion. Uh, in the first episode we are looking at uh, why Christians are being deceived and then that was the first two episodes and the third one we're looking at uh, we started looking at uh, the deceptions we were picking those deceptions one by one the the, the, the false teachings and false doctrines uh, that many preachers are using to deceive christians into what are not in the bible what are not in the scriptures and today we want to continue from there from where we stopped the last time we we're looking at uh, uh the first teaching of Godhood of believers. And that took us into another uh, uh, erroneous doctrine of positive thinking and positive confession. But we were not able to, to look deeply uh, into that and we said we'll be looking at that in the next episode. And so the next episode has come by the grace of God. We will be looking at that. As usual, I have with me Demola that we'll be discussing this together. Demola, you are welcome once again. It's nice having you again. Uh, it's nice to be with you. We are going to be looking at positive confession and positive thinking. Positive thinking, positive confession. Demola, <laughs> what do you <laughs> want to say? Even that one is, is more serious than the other ones we've been considering. So, um, these preachers, they have come to say that Christians should make use of the power that they have in them. And that one of the ways they will do that is to use their tongue and the power of their mind to make things happen. So the, the slogan now is a positive confession. So they call positive it thinking. And positive thinking, positive confession movement, positive confession, positive thinking movement. And you remember I said that some of these things are not new with us in, not, in Africa or Nigeria. They are not, they are not. So it's, it's been what Christians have been hearing many years back from popular preachers and leaders of, I mean, in, in Christendom. But are these things true? Are they in according to the word of God? So they are not true. They are not according to the word of God. Okay. And like I told you, I was not able the other time to read from the book myself. You were reading. Okay. So I have I have some to read to, to read, read about this positive. issue of positive confession. Okay. Let's 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 go All to right. it. In that book, okay. that's our another Jesus, another spirit, another gospel, on page 28. Okay. Let, let, let me start even from page 26. Okay. Page 26. Okay. So one of the preachers, like we said, we are not going to mention name. All right, and, all right, and, right. By the spoken word, that's 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 the his, his, his that's his word. Yeah. Said by the spoken word, we create our universe of circumstances. You create the presence of Jesus with your mouth. Wow, wow. He is bound by your lips. Hey. He is bound by your lips mm. and by your words. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Said, you don't know what power you have within you. Mm. You make the word into anything you choose. Wonderful. Wonderful. Said, and we have not been able to make the word better than this. You make the word into you make the word into anything you choose. Wow. Say yes. You can make your word into whatever you want it to be. I want my word to be the richest. I want to even create the whole word by myself. <laughs> Demo, like, this is, wait, this Steve. Is wait, Steve. Say, would it shock you to learn that God's healing power is available through your own mind 
and you can trigger it by force. By faith. By faith, sorry. You can trigger it by faith. If you had, if you had direct access to your unconscious mind, occultic, your unconscious mind, you could command any disease to be healed in, in a flash. Wow. That is how much power is at hand. Jesus obviously had access to him. Abba, Abba. Jesus had access to his <laughs> unconscious, unconscious mind. Unconscious mind. Ah. Eh? Jesus obviously had access to it. For he produced command healings. Jesus produced command healings. You can imagine. Through his unconscious mind. That is... I'm not through yet. Though. Okay. Page what? 28. Okay. And this will shock you. You said we will say probably this is occult. Of course, the, research has actually shown that uh, some of these, these things. Are, they are, they are, they are, this, this, listen to mind, listen mind, to this mind science and uh, yeah. L- listen to it. And they have been in, in practice. It was borrowed, imported into Christianity. Yeah. It has yeah. been used yeah. in the yeah. yoga thing. You know, we know the names of these people, but like you said, we don't want to. And names. we knew where they got all yeah. these things yeah. from. We knew where they got them from, but just for yeah. yeah. Anyone occultist, anyone, sorry, okay, only anyone mm-hmm. occultist or Christian mm-hmm. can use the faith force. Ah. Occultist, anyone, or Christian, or Christian can use, can use the, the faith force. Faith force. Are we now going to? Can't we? Are we now? Are we now going to circle that faith? The faith, faith force. Faith. <laughs> <laughs> faith that anyone can I have. The occultic or Christian. Oh no, that's no longer the faith. And, of and the let, 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 me, let, 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 let me say this, Steve. Do you believe a Christian leader can say this? A Christian leader for that matter. Let me let me say anyone occultist or Christian can use this faith force. Do you believe a Christian leader can say this? What could have led a Christian leader to I'm this point to say this kind of a thing? And so we wonder, and many, many on on what, 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 what this English? Unsuspecting, unsuspecting, unsuspecting Christians who are not, falling for it. That like, was what like I said. Paul said, Hermanos and, and Philetos, Philetos that word you, spread like. Kanka and overthrew the, the faith of some. These preachers have overthrown the, the faith, faith of, of some believers. Some innocent Christians, they believe all this. Well, I don't believe they are innocent anyway. Yeah. But it is good to say it that way because... But, 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 you know you know what? I believe they are innocent because at the end of the day, you know one thing I've always believed? Mm-hmm. I've always believed that even if a true Christian is deceived, it's not going to last forever. Mm-hmm. By the time the light of the truth yeah, is yeah. shine upon him, he, he will, then it picks yeah, up. Oh. I've seen people yes, who, are, right, who right. have yeah, believed right, these right. things. Right. But when they now saw the truth, yeah. they, 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 they came out. The truth clicked. They came, they, they they came, came out, out of it. They came, they came out, out of it. Yes. So you are right. You are right. You are right. You are right. So, but let, let's move a little further. Because man is a little God. Now that's about that God. Last, that because you know, episode. positive conversion, uh, positive thinking is linked to me God tightly to the, to the issue of positive confession. And you said positive confession. Conversion and positive thinking, thinking is now linked, linked to, tightly to oh, the, God the, the issue of Godhood of believers. believers. Yes. Yeah. So it says because man is a little God, now in quotes now, in God's class. Very capable of operating on the same level of faith as God. Habba. Habba. Continue. Let's say, and because all men are spirit beings, therefore anyone, whether Christian or pagan, can release this faith force by speaking words. If he only believes in his words, as God believes in his. So God, he, <laughs> God, God had to believe Living in his, his word before, before, words, before words, words will be effective. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful, that's, Steve. That's, 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 that's serious. Wonderful. That's serious. And these are written by the so-called respectable 
preachers. And we respect them too, Steve. Naturally. We respect yes. them, Steve. But this is a this is a summary. Sadly. He said God is a faith God. God is a faith God. Hmm. God released his faith. God released his, his faith in words. In words. And we so God, God has faith. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Ah, God no. needed to have faith hey, to create whatever you will create. Come on. That's, that's isn't, isn't that too much? It is. It is. It is. Ah, ah. It is. Isn't that too much? It is. It is. Said that we must do the same. It is. See, only it says everything you say, positive or negative, will come to pass. But that's, 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 that's not true. That's, that's not true. true. How many true. negative things have we said and how many positive things have we said? Maybe have you have not said it in faith. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here they say, anything you say, positive or negative, will, will come, come to pass. Spiritual things are created by words. Even natural, physical things are created by words. <laughs> you get what you confess. I'm, I, I, I'm reading, I'm quoting. I, I, I'm following you. I have the book with me. I'm following you. You get what you confess. The vital key, the vital key is confessing and speaking aloud and thereby releasing the force of faith. So, this is not from so, the word. This, this, can, this can never be from the word of God. It can never. Because faith in God, according to the scripture, is not about speaking for anything. It's not. This can never. Faith in God is, is trusting in the character and ability of God. what God will do in a man's in life. life. Trusting God, the personality of God, the character of God. In fact, this is more occultic. Like you know, you said anyone occultist, anyone occultist, or but this is no, this tend to towards. But they present it as the faith of that Christian must make use of. And you know one thing, Dimola. Okay. When they now want to heisen this cake, okay, from the Word of God. They couldn't get any direct scripture to so, back it up. No. And so they had to resolve to twist, it, to twist the word of God. scriptures mm. in order to support this. Mm. Maybe when you finish reading, I you will, want to I give will, us I want scriptures. To say some of the Bible let me quickly verses. let me quickly finish this um, um, maybe two paragraphs. You get what you say. Only by mouth conversion can faith power be released. Mm. Allowing tremendous things to happen. Remember, the key to receiving the desires of your heart is to make the words of your mouth agree with what you want. Whatever comes out of your mouth shall be produced in your life. Fantastic. Never make a, a negative confession. So somebody will say, if the person is sick, the person will say, ah, I am, I am strong. Instead of, instead of, isn't that like? They brought all these things to Christianity. Isn't that like? Isn't and I've had this over and over again, brought, even from many Christians around me, mm -hmm. when they are sick or they are taking heal, instead of telling you straight, I am down, I am healed, I, 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 I have malaria, mm -hmm. they say, I am strong. Mm -hmm. And you wonder, mm -hmm. what, is, what is this? You and know it's, the, it's from this thing. Yes. Positive confession. Mm -hmm. I, 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 have you not seen a believer that uh, you want to borrow money or you want him to help you financially? It's not, he does not have it to and say, okay. uh, can you borrow me maybe 1,000 euros or 5,000 euros? And we say it in, 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 in Yoruba. I am rich. I am rich. I am rich. And you say, you are rich. Borrow me now. Give me no water for the world. You should understand I am rich. I am rich. I am rich. Water for the world. Meaning that money that you that is that you have in abundance. In abundance. Give, give me out of it now. Say, it's just because they are just trying to uh, follow this doctrine mm. of positive mm. confession. But, mm. Mm. but you know, there is one new one that I've just come came up, I mean, that I've just come across. Okay. 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 I was I wanted to withdraw from ATM okay. to my automated uh, teller mm. machine. Mm. machine. I wanted to withdraw money and there was a queue. Okay. And so when I got to the queue, okay. the last person on the queue, I now ask him, Are you the last? On the queue, he said, "No, no, 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 no. I will never be the last. I will too. never be the last. I'm not the last on the queue." <laughs> and immediately he said that, I knew where yeah, he that was, was coming, coming from. from. I knew he was coming from this same. So person. what did you now say to the person? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> and there's been another, I think I remember there was another time that was the last. And somebody said, are you the last? And I said, yes, I'm the last on the crew. And the person in front of me looked at me and said, no, you, 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 you will not be the last. Say you are the last. You just say you are, you are, you are the next person after, behind, you are behind this person. Uh, what of behind? What, 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 what behind? I'm not behind you. I, I'm the last person. Satan, I, I, get I, behind I, me. I am not behind. I am the last of the queue. I don't and that's what it's, it's a serious and it has really eaten deep into the heart of me. And and many Christians, many Christians, my brother, many Christians, yes. this is typical of us. The focus of today's Christian is shifted in this in this direction. dimension, this direction. Yes. Yeah. How many people, how many Christians will you see that will not think in that line that this person you you said, said I'm I not the the how many Christians today you say you, you know that we will not think in that direction that that is the way to answer that is the way to think because that is the way we were brought up that's, that's, the, that's the way, way that's the popular way we were, we were brought up we were raised we were raised on these doctrines that's it that's it, that's it my brother so so never make a negative confession the tongue can kill you or it can release the life of God within you whether you believe right or wrong, it is the law. There is power in the evil fourth dimension. If you confess sickness, you get it. If you confess it, you get it. Whatever you say, you get. Faith is as a seed you plant. Okay, faith is, faith is as a seed. You plant it by speaking it. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, Demola, are you are you done? Because of our time, mm. you know, like I said, when they couldn't get anywhere to back it up in the Word of God, when they couldn't get any direct place in the Word of God to back it up, yeah. they they try to twist the scriptures. Yeah. One of the scriptures they always twist, they always used to buttress or back this doctrine up, is a verse in Proverbs, um, uh, 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 I think in Proverbs that says, life and death are in the, the power, power of, of the, the tongue. tongue. Hmm. So, they, they use that verse, but when you read that place in context, you will know that it is far from the way they are, they are twisting. negative confession. It is in context, it's all about using your tongue to, to say what is bad, what can lead to death of another person. Testifying wrongly against another person or, or saying something that will implicate another person, another person which can lead to his death. death. Or using your tongue to plead for the life of another person, so that the person will not die. And by that, you have given that person life. Like, like, like you know in Proverbs, it means... And like support. it is said, Proverbs, and that book is actually called Proverbs. <laughs> they are not literal. Yeah, they are not words you just apply just literally, just literally like that. They are, they are, yeah. they are Proverbs. Yeah. They are like adages. Yeah. They are yeah. Proverbs. Yeah. So wanted to like, say I wanted to say that um, that, that is talking about um, soft words. Yeah. I mean, that people should be wise the way they, 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 they leverage on what, use of words what, and things like that. That, that um, like in Yoruba, adage to, to hurt, hurt somebody, somebody else. And in fact, the person, to, that, that to can help. lead to... You can use to hurt someone that can even go and commit suicide. Yeah. And you can use yeah. it to help, help someone yeah. who is even about to commit yeah. suicide. And you, you save, that person's, save that person's life. So it is not about positive I mean, having strong... I mean, uh, faith yeah. that I mean, whatever what I say, say will, will come, to, come pass. to pass. That is like this. They, they said it. And mind science. Word. And it has it nothing to do word word. with the word the of God. The second word. place they always use is also in Proverbs. Okay. And when I read that place, I was like, wow. They always say, as a man thinks in his heart. Do you, do, do, so, do, so shall we? Okay. we can read Proverbs okay. 23. Okay. Proverbs 23. And when I read that place, Demola, yes, I sir. discovered that that place is is far from. It's not a generic man. That place is not. <laughs> you know, in English, 
Mm-hmm. When they say, as a man thinks in his heart, mm-hmm. so you see. Mm-hmm. That means generally, mm-hmm. it's generic. Mm-hmm. That how a man thinks, that is how he is. Mm-hmm. But the place they are quoting in Proverbs 23 is not generic. He's not talking about a generic man. He's, that's verse 6. Okay. Now, when you now read verse 6, he says, I will now read verse 6 and 7. And that will make it clear. That it's not about positive confession or positive thinking. Mm. Are you there? Yeah. Let me read New King James. New King James will make it very clear. Okay. You like New King James. I love New King James. <laughs> it says, do not eat the bread of a miser. Okay. Now, a miser. Mm-hmm. He said, no, desire is delicacies. Mm, it's daintiness. Uh, it's delicacies. No, uh, modern English. Delicacies with daintiness or what? Dainty, dainty meats. Dainty meats. The younger ones may not understand Stand what the word dainty, dainty meat. means. But delicacy is modern English. So okay. he said, No desire is delicacies. For as he thinks in his, his heart, heart, so, so is he. Is. So Demola, who is this personal pronoun? Who is this pronoun referring to? As he, the miser. Man, man, yes. The, the, the person who actually gave the food to, to do you evil. evil. <laughs> the miser. He said, so is he. Now, he, he, he said, eat and drink. He, he says to you. He says to you. But his heart is not with you. you. <laughs> and so he's not as a man thinks in his heart. He's, he's talking about this particular person. Just like I said the other time that when these preachers, when they came with some... They, they, um, they, they, when, they, when they came up with some words and then they are saying those things, and we later found out that actually those things did not even originate with them. It originated. You know, I said they did not. I would, they did not even know that we will find out that, and we that, found that, out. That, we, did we not also find out even from the word of God now that these things you are saying you are only quoting these things, twisting it. The, the third place they always use is Joel chapter three verse ten. Where? Joel. 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 Joel okay. chapter three. Okay. okay. Let the weak say, I am, I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. Joel chapter 3, verse 10. And when you read from verse 1, very straightforward, very simple, you understand that um, it is not even talking about uh, positive confession or positive thinking in any way. Okay. Joel chapter 3, verse 10 mm. says, yeah, I'm there. Beat your plowshares yeah. into swords. Okay. And your pruning hooks into spears. Mm-hmm. Let the weak say, I am, I am strong. strong. Now, when I read that in New Living Translations and some other translations, that one, those ones make it very simple. Okay. It says, New Living. It says, it's like a, a military term. Okay. It's like, a, when, when you read from verse 1, because of our time, when you read from verse 1 of chapter 3, and you read down to that chapter, New Living Translation. Uh, which verse read, are we reading? Verse 10. You are there. Yes. Oh, that's, that's fine. New Living Translation. You, you read verse 10. Say to the nations far and wide, uh, get ready for war. Get ready for war. Call out your best warriors. Call out your best warriors. Let all your fighting men advance for the attack. Mm-hmm. Amma your, amma your plowshares uh, into swords. Convert your farming tools mm-hmm. into swords. War, war, war weapons, war, weapons war. of war. Yeah. Uh-huh. And your pruning hooks uh, into are, spears. That is also farming tools. Train even your weaklings to be warriors. Your weaklings. Uh, in, in, uh, Military men, soldiers, we say bloody civilians. Mm-hmm. That even if you don't have enough soldiers, the bloody civilians, that's what they refer to as weak, the weakling. Make actually, them, them to be weak. You know, actually, soldiers. you know, actually, Israelites are men of war. Yeah. Most of their children, even female, was attracted to, to be men, to be men of war. Of war. Yeah. So he heard God was the one talking here. Mm. He was telling the nations around who had maltreated Israel who had taken Israel into captivity, who had sold Israel into slavery, beyond the measure, beyond the boundary that God gave them, God said, so, get ready, so, I want to fight. So you. New Living Translation now translates, let the, the weak, weak say, says, I am strong. let the weak say, I am, I am strong. strong, to be, train even your weaklings to be warriors. To be warriors. Wow. 
So you can see <laughs> that it's not even about confessing that I am sick, no, I am strong, or I don't have money, I am rich. It's not about that. And even the whole context does not support not, not in line with positive that. confession it's that we must confess. It's about that God wants to bring upon the na nations of the earth. I, I, have actually, I have actually been confronted with this. In say when you say you don't need to say you don't need to say I am rich now when you are when you when don't you have, have money. money or when you are what, sick what, what, you say what does it take to when you are sick I say ah brother ah, how are you I say I have no you are sick no no I'm not what? sick oh I say you don't need to say that you are sick let's pray God will heal you yeah. and say uh, no you remember the Bible says let the weak say I am, I am strong <laughs> <laughs> so. Here is just like saying, let your children who are civilians come, yeah, up, come up and say, we are to fight. So we are, we are going to, really, to fight. I want to really fight you. So, so that you will not give excuse that it's because you don't have enough soldiers. Mm. That's why I warn you. Mm. God said, bring everything. Mm. Train mm. even your, your mm. weaklings, your mm. civilians, mm. your farming tools. Mm. Convert them to weapons of war mm. and come and face me. Because mm. I will meet you at the valley of Joshaphat. Mm -hmm. And Joshaphat mm. means... God judges. Mm. So God is saying judgment is mm. a prophecy mm. against the nations of mm. the earth. Mm. Let's meet at the valley of Jehoshaphat and let's fight. Mm. Let's see who will win. Mm. And God, that is what the place is saying. Wow. But they use it to support positive thinking and positive confession. For the faith. Mm. And the other place which they also twist is in Luke. When Jesus said, a good man out of a good treasure of the earth will bring forth good faith. Mm. And evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart, he brings forth evil things. So from the abundance so of, of heart, the heart, a man speaks. And it's clear that he's talking about two different people. Evil people, what do you expect from evil people? Evil things. What do you expect from good man? Good things. It's not about what you confess. But yep. before we round up, are we telling people to confess negatively. No, no. We are not telling them to no. confess so that they will not say that uh, yeah. those those two brothers. What is evil? What is what is evil? Confessing there, is, negatively. Or positive. What is, is evil? Confessing like negatively. But is there anything like nothing? Positive there is nothing like that. Like in the Bible. people of God confessed negatively <laughs> as they postulate. Oh, uh, I don't know anything about <laughs> negativity. Or, or I don't know. All I know is that being on God's side. God said, Paul said, we have the mind of Christ. Christ we be... have the mind of Christ. We think, we think in Christ. Bro Steve. We, speak, Bro Steve. we speak the will of, of God. God. We speak the word of God. Mm -hmm. We do the things of yeah. God. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro Steve, do you, do you remember that um, um, what's this, this woman confessed negativity in quotes? Um, have... uh, Esther. Esther. Esther said, if, if I, I perish, I, I perish. perish. She yes. did not perish. <laughs> Thank you, <Nicola. laughs> So, I think we can land up. Okay. This is a good point to land up okay. on this, um, uh, to wrap it up on this, uh, this, this, this point. Deception, yeah. positive and negative confession. Mm -hmm. Viewers at home, thank you for joining us again. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to this YouTube channel and share and click the like buttons. And the Lord will bless you as you do. Hope to see you yeah. in the next episode by God's grace. Thank, thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.